All right, if you're asked to make a carboxylic acid out of an alkene, I'm gonna show you how. Actually, this page already shows you how. You heat it with potassium permanganate in a basic solution. What this does is it oxidatively cleaves the double bond, so you get a double bonded O on each side. Here's my little shortcut. Copy out both sides of the molecule. Oh, that's a CH3. This is my first carbon with a CH3 on it. Uh, I called this a CH2CH3. I guess I want it to be unnecessarily complicated. This carbon over here has a CH3 on it and an H. What happens is you break open the double bond and you replace it with a double bonded O. Awesome. But what happens is because you, you're heating it with a permanganate solution and it's basic, you're actually also going to oxidize any bare H's that were attached to those carbons and they're going to become OH. Here's what I mean. If you heat an alkene with KMnO4 in a basic solution and the telltale sign here is then as a second step you add acid, break open your double bond, add an O to each side, and change all your bare H's into OH. So your final answer has, rather than C, 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 O, you still got your CH3, you still got your CH2, CH3, and you do likewise for their carbon. That's not double bonded to C anymore, it's double bonded to O. You still got your CH3, oh, that's a bare H. We're going to replace it with OH. This right here is a ketone. This right here was an aldehyde, but we've oxidized it into a carboxylic acid. Oh, I didn't think that one through. Carboxylic acid. Notice the H has become OH. So you have a double bonded O and an OH attached to the same C. That's what makes it a carboxylic acid, right? And that's how you make carboxylic acids out of alkenes. Just make sure you have some bare H's to get oxidized. Best of luck.